Hi everybody, welcome to this highlights video. A few holes from my first look this morning, played straight away at 8am here in the UK. Starting with hole four, going with the sniper, red ring to the rough, no spin, ball guide to hole first. Now, I don't add any spin here. I need to, though. I need a little bit of backspin, but I do also need some side spin to the right. Max plus five is what I'm going here. Max plus five. Perfect away. But sadly, it did just miss slightly to the left here. Not a bad speed, but like I said, a little bit of right spin needed to tweak on that one. Looking at hole nine now, going with big topper for the drive here. Nice bit of cross tailwind. Uh, clear ring touching the rough on the left at max distance. I go max top spin, adjust max plus 20 with my big topper at level five. Then I push up to max after I'm done and I'm going for the double bounce over. Second shot, sniper here, then going for the rough bump. Spin to pin, really. 4.1 top is what I go with. Um, don't have the ball guide pointing right at the cup, though. Um, I'm just leaving it a bit short because of the tailwind push. Uh, I adjust this max minus 10. Max minus 10. Just needs a bit of a tweak, though. Perfect ball. Decent speed, but just missed left, so needed a slightly more adjustment on that. But not bad, something to work with. Hole number 11 now, better wind than it is on the front nine. Uh, here I'm going just with some right spin. I go 0 0.4 bars. And I'm looking for the right side of the yellow ring touching the edge of the rough plus two. Unfortunately, if you zoom in, I'm just a little bit too much to the left here. I don't have the edge of the yellow ring touching the edge of the rough. I just max plus 25, but also think I need a little bit more right spin here. Maybe half a bar of right spin. That, along with the landing position being totally flush against the rough, this should be in. But instead... With a combination of those two things, it is a close miss on the left-hand side. This is hole uh, number 13. Again, setting up red ring to the rough. No spin, ball guide to the hole. Then I'm adding spin. I go with a click of top spin, 0 0.2 left spin. But once again, do need to tweak this slightly. Playing it max plus 5. Okay, interesting wind here. I've got a really good drive as well. Thor's hammer level five, six bars of top spin, one bar of side spin to the right with a berserker stretch out. So I have the left edge of the inner yellow ring just inside the rough at max extension. Then I adjust this one max zero. And then once I'm done, I push up to max distance. Then I'm going full overpower, no curl. Important thing here, hit perfect. Got the perfect ball. Always going to be a bit of a lottery shot here. This wind is not easy, but we get a very nice uh, 
lucky roll actually a bit of a flat bounce but it does roll very nicely down very good line as well to leave a very makeable wedge from 425 yards here I'm using Enbringer School method so I'm stretching out to max distance measuring the distance the pin is in between complete max and the ball here I estimate it to be 60% where the flag is now I play 30% elevation here because I do think I'm a little bit more downhill than usual however I don't need to do this 20% would have been fine and as you'll see here hit perfect no spin ball guide to the cup but it does go in slightly to the right so I would suggest just going with 20 which would have been 4.7 rings rather than 5 Hole 17, very similar to what we had in expert qualifying round here. I'm not going with the uh, aggressive approach because I don't have seven bars of top spin. But very good shot here though. Four and a half top, three left. Stretch out just a little bit just to check my al alignment here. Bottom left of the yellow inner ring touching the rough. I just max plus 10. And as I've got a drive of 232 yard power, I do go with two rings of overpower. Left curl, left edge of the kingmaker touching the outside of the adjustment ring. Hit perfect, and this comes in very nicely. Here we're going for the dunk because the green is so bumpy. Max backspin. Drive distance 354 yards with a perfect. Aim with the arrows at the back of the cup. And I play this one at 38% slider, 0% elevation. And if you hit a perfect drive like me, pretty much guaranteed you're going to be between 35 and 40% slider. Be careful, get that ball absolutely in the center and hit perfect here. And you're going to get this one in, as we do here, for an eagle. Hole 18, again going to uh, show you big topper here. Big topper level 5, once again clearing to the rough on the left, max top spin, and I go with one bar of right spin. This is a fairly strong tailwind, and what I do here is max plus 20. But I don't push up to max. I push up three and a half rings, but I would advise you to only push up three rings maximum. So don't go any more than three rings, and you will see why in a minute. There you see I put an extra half a ring on, and I didn't need to do that. So three rings is enough, I would think. As you see here, the second bounce is ridiculously close to the edge of the fairway. So three rings will be nice. Good chance here. I'm going for the rough bump with the sniper. I'm going three and a half top and one to the right. And I'm looking at my plus yardage. I tried this one setting up a plus three. And I'm playing this 60% slider minus 10% elevation. Tried to Decided to push these rings because the trees are in the way. Just needs a little tweak here. This is a very close miss on the left. So we just needed to give it a little bit more. Another point one I think would have had this in. But we do give it a good chance. And it's definitely something from a first look that we can tweak and work with for the rest of the opening rounds. Hope it's helpful and good luck in your games. Thank you for watching.